How's everybody doing today? Um, had a day off today, but um, took a day off to uh, work on the boat a little bit, work on the motor. Um, I'll put a little video in here, a couple little videos. I also put a picture here of the product that I used. Um, if you go to a lot of little smaller lakes, and if you got a and this is, I'm not a professional, I'm not a mechanic, I'm not, it's just little things that I've watched and I have friends that are mechanics and just some suggestions that was made to me. Um, I'll just give these couple little things just maybe to help somebody else. So, uh, I've got an Evermood uh, 115 horsepower, it's a two stroke. I'm blessed to have it, runs wonderful. Um, but she's a little bit older motor and uh, uh 1994 i believe is what it is still runs good though um so one of the things that i've been out running quite a bit to a lot of little lakes been blessed to go here to a lot of places and uh, a lot of these lakes they're, they're just small so you don't run very very far um one of the first things that I heard people talk about, you know, I watched a lot of little YouTube videos and stuff. I, a lot of people mentioned about putting sea foam in their uh, in their gas. Every time they put gas in the boat, they put, you know, their own mixture, of course, because I have to put my own mixture in mine. And uh, then they use this sea foam. And I get the marine sea foam, just a local retailer. I put it in every time. It would smoke from time to time, you know, and that's kind of what it does, why it's cleaning everything out. But it still seemed to me like it was bogging a lot. And uh, the last two times that I went out fishing, like I said, I, I'd, I'd love to go to Cumberland all the time and run wide open and do great, and that would probably be better for the motor, but we can't. Or I can't anyway. It's expensive to do that all the time. So, uh um, started watching uh, you'll see I started having trouble when I was getting ready to load the boat I'd have to uh, manually choke and do the warm-up on mine it's a little bit different uh, in order to start the motor so it, it would take two or three cranks sometimes even more than that to get it to where it was going it didn't like idling very well and uh, I just came to mind finally I said you know I just need to take a day off from fishing and I need to go ahead and spend some time doing a couple little things that I need to do. One of the things I did was uh, I bought this product that a friend of mine suggested that I get. And uh, it's Everood and Johnson. It's actually made for the motor. But uh, it's, it's a carburetor cleaner. It's, it has... Uh, it, it's everything basically in one F fuel additive it's everything together and the sea foam that you use everybody talks about it that it's so good but the sea foam the mixture that it has you're supposed to at least for, for my boat anyway you're supposed to put um, however many ounces two ounces per gallon is the mixture that you're supposed to put in to help clean out your motor as you go. So if you put in five gallons, then you're probably looking at about 10 ounces. Well, this Evinrude and Johnson mixture that I was using, that I used today, I looked on the back of it and it actually says that I'm supposed to use one ounce for every five gallons. So obviously it's pretty powerful. Um, so I put some in it the other day and I ran it, but it was still giving me trouble um, but I figured that I would watched a couple videos and I talked to some people and they talked about putting a concentrated mixture in and you're going to see here as part of the video that first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show, you know, kind of the trouble it was given to me.
then here in just a little bit, I'm going to show you the process that I went through and I'll talk about it. And then I'm going to turn around and show you the end result of what actually, after I did this. Now, all I really did was I was, it had the, the boat when I bought it, bought it used, of course. It had the simple little gray hoses that you buy just at a regular retail store. They're not very expensive. They're like $40 and a little gray hose. Everybody knows what I'm talking about. If you have a motor and just they're cheap lines what they are a friend of mine suggested you need to upgrade and get regular like gas line hoses i went and looked at them and they're pretty expensive too i mean it's like 60 70 dollars for an actual the hose that's actually supposed to go to the motor that i have so i went to just a regular car or park store and got a 3 8 fuel line hose and I, I cut it to strip and i used my pump that I already had the little ball pump and I used the little connection piece in the other end and got me some uh, uh, some hose clamps in order to put it all together. And did it that way myself. And I, I, I saved myself a little bit, but it also improved. So since I was doing that anyway, I'd watched on a video that what they did was they took a, a gallon gas jug, put in premium fuel, which that's what I did. I put in the premium fuel and uh, I didn't use the 87. I used the higher one, the, the highest one they had, which it cost me about $5 for a gallon. But I was trying to make a point. I was trying to use it to clean everything up. So then I put my oil mixture in it for that one gallon that I'm supposed to put with my 50 to 1 ratio that I have for my my boat anyway and then what I did was I added I figured because a lot of people were putting that whole can of sea foam in their gallon in order to give it a high concentration to really clean the carburetors out which is what I thought was causing me the most trouble um, what I actually did was I put it's supposed to be one ounce for every five gallons. So since I had a gallon, I put two ounces in this little gallon jug. And once again, like I said, I'm not a mechanic. I'm not a pro. And then what I did was, is I uh, put it, I put my line directly into it. And I'll, you'll see right here in the video. into the gas tank into that little gallon gas jug from the boat and I pumped my ball up and primed it just like you always was and it took me a little bit but I finally started the motor up and then of course I put those muffs on my motor which uh, uh, you'll need to watch videos in order to see how to do that or how to run your motor outside the water because you don't want to run it outside the water if you don't have some type of water running to it I have a hose, of course, that goes directly to the motor, and I put those muffs on it, and that keeps water going through, because water is what it actually uses to cool the engine. So I, I did little 15-minute increments is what I did. So I started the motor up. It would run for a little bit. I would give it a little bit of gas, but not actually put it in full. I'd push the little button on the throttle so that I could just basically rub the motor up and not actually spin the propeller trying to get to warm up and it would run for a little bit and shut off. I'd start it again, run for a little bit and shut off. And it was smoking all over the place because that chemical in that gas is actually going through there and cleaning those carburetors up. And I would give it a little bit of gas and I would let off of it and give it a little gas and let off of it and it would smoke even more. And I would give it a little gas. And then I did that off and on 
for about 15 minutes. And then I shut the motor off and left it alone for 15 more minutes. Then I came back again after 15 minutes and she cranked pretty much on the first crank. Didn't even have to prime it, didn't have to choke it, didn't have to do anything. It just automatically started right up. So I went through another 15 minutes of giving it a little gas and letting it back off and letting it idle. Well, she started idling for two to three minutes at a time without shutting off, which was awesome in itself. So it was already starting to work and clean everything up. So then I would give it a little bit of gas, just like you'd be running in the lake is what I was trying to do. I'd give it a little bit of gas and I'd back off from it. And instead of me driving to the lake and going through and using up a day of fishing, I was able to do this pretty much right here in my house in my yard. And uh, I did that for a little bit until finally I realized that it really wasn't giving out any smoke. So it had cleaned everything up the way that it was supposed to. And I'll show a video on here to where it just, I turned that key and it just instantly from there on, it would just fire up. I didn't have to choke. I didn't have to prime. I didn't have to do anything to it. That motor just running just like a top. It would idle like it's supposed to. I turn it off, wait a few minutes, turn that key and boom, it would just automatically come on. So, it amazed me that a product that simple, just doing that, something so simple, it completely improved not only the sound, but the function of that motor. And there's still some other things that I, I'd like to change little by little on it, like to improve on it. But I, I just wanted to share it because some of you may have the same trouble. Some of you are like, man, when I go out, you know, my motor seems like it's always bogging down. I'm not saying it's a fix for everything, but if you're going to a lot of little lakes to where you're going a little short stop and starts and you're nearly not running that all the time, you may want to take the time in your house to do what I did and just take a little gallon jug, disconnect everything from your main tank and just run into that gallon jug and just run it through it and help it clean it out. And it's probably a good little maintenance to do at least once a year. And that's what I've seen a lot of people talk about. Anyway, I, I just wanted to share, like I said, it's, it's a product that I, I've, I've been blessed to get a hold of that I know um, a lot of us, it, you can think about all these other products you want to, but I, I was sold on it and I was pretty impressed that it worked the way that it did and i'm just tickled to death and i can't wait till the next day i'm blessed to go fishing anyway i hope this helps somebody if, if it doesn't make sense what i'm saying or you need some more tips just message me and i'll try my best to help you best i can um, anyway god bless you all and above all just enjoy the time you're out on the water god made it for us to enjoy his creation his beauty don't let these machines and stuff get you down they all do but just thank God for the days that we get. Thank God for the blessings that we have to enjoy and enjoy them. God bless you all. Y'all have a great day.